Hi, and welcome back. My name is Doug Edlai, and I'm the Senior HPC Editor at Linux Magazine. And today we're going to continue our discussion about Amdahl's Law that determines how fast parallel computers can run uh, on a specific program, I should say. However, today we're not going to talk about computers, we're going to talk about lawn mowers and how the act of mowing your lawn is actually somewhat like a parallel computer trying to run something a program in parallel <coughs> so a few quick things up there I've drawn a schematic of some kind of lawn that we're gonna mow using two different types of mowers one a push mower that will do the edges and for whatever reason we're gonna assume that's our sequential portion of our program we're, and we can only do that one at a time going around the edge we can't do the insides until we get the edge done so we know what we have to do then the parallel portion will be the riding mowers John Deere uh, that can go very quickly back and forth on the big regions okay so let's see what happens when we take a look at some uh, example uh, like that let's assume that if I have my push mower and my riding mower it takes me one hour to do mow the lawn and I've got a chart here and we're going to go through some numbers real quick so the power what I'm going to call parallel mow time or the riding mower mow time takes me 40 minutes okay I'm going to write a 40 in there now this this row here we're going to forget about for now the push mower time takes me 20 minutes. Total time, 60 minutes. So, it takes me an hour to mow my lawn. Suppose I got 10, so that's one, here's me, 10 neighbors to help me with their riding mowers, preferably John Deere. Uh, and so that 40 minutes, we could divide by 10, that would be 4 minutes it would take to mow the parallel portions of the lawn and it would still take the push mower 20 minutes for a grand total of 24 minutes to get my whole lawn done woohoo now I've got you know plenty of extra time to go oh, I, don't, I don't know do stuff <clears throat> anyway wash off my lawn mower so <coughs> let's see how about I'll get 40 neighbors and get done even quicker? Well, the parallel mow time, 40 minutes. It'll take me one minute to get that portion done. What about my sequential time? It'll take me 20 minutes. Total time, 21 minutes. Damn, I'm only saving three minutes, but now I added 30 more mowers, riding mowers. This doesn't seem like it's making sense. That, my friend, is Amdahl's law. Now it gets a little bit more insidious than that because as with um, mowing your lawn and do, working with other people and if I got my neighbors to help me trust me I need time to explain things to them uh, so there's going to be what I call parallel setup time so if it's just me there is no parallel setup time but if I got my neighbors I'm going to assume it's going to take me one minute per neighbor to tell them what to do. That's being kind. So, for every neighbor, here I got ten neighbors, or, or me, I may need ten minutes, you know, some time. Um, that's going to take me one minute per neighbor, so that's going to take me ten minutes of setup time. And if I have forty neighbors, it's going to take me forty minutes of setup time. Now, I run the totals again and lo and behold I have this turns into 34 minutes and this turns into 61 minutes which doesn't look like 61 61 minutes so I know what you're saying this is a, a contrived example and you know really not gonna happen like that well just go with the flow here the idea is that due to Amdahl's law and the parallel overhead or setup time which can be considered 
a sequential portion of your program that's going to increase as you add more processors. So what happens here is the parallel, the highly parallel time is longer than the one person sequential time. That's because of the overhead. So Amdahl's law gets a little more insidious in that sometimes, not all the time, sometimes as you add processors the parallel portion of the program actually gets less because you're adding all the sequential setup. So this is kind of a, like a contrived tricked example to show you that gee, getting 40 people to help me with my lawn is not a good idea. So, very simple example. Take, you can think about a lot of other cases where that happens. Oftentimes, I've run into people in the early days who said, you know, I tried this parallel computing, but it just slowed my program down. So my response to them was often, look, process boy, you don't understand what's going on here. You just can't throw a hundred processors at your problem and expect it to go faster. You've got to understand the nature of your program, the parallelization, and the sequential portion, and understand Amdahl's law. Maybe you ought to be mowing lawns rather than trying to write parallel programs. Just a suggestion. I'm sure that's not the case for you because now you've been watching me talk about the right way to do parallel computing. So until next time, keep doing stuff that you're doing, and then I'll see you then. Bye.